Hey boys and girls, today we're going to be looking at module 4, lesson 11's homework. And today it is pretty different from what we've been doing because today we're working with subtraction. So all of the pro problems on tonight's homework are all subtraction. The first part says to solve using mental math. So I'm going to go through just this first set with you. All right, well, six minus five. So this is something you can do in your head. Six minus five is one. Now it has 26 minus five. Well, we just solved six minus five. Six minus five gave us one, and all we need to do is add these two tens back in to get 21. Now we're doing 26 minus six. Also something we can do in our head six ones take away six ones is zero ones and you put those two tens back in and the last one is 26 minus seven at first you might think oh i can't do this one in my head because if i have six ones and i take away seven of them i won't be able to but if you go back to this one you know that 26 minus six was 20 well, if I'm doing 26 minus seven, I'm just taking one more away. So this answer here would need to be one less than this answer. So my answer is 19. Because if 26 take away the six is 20, 26 take away the seven would be first take away the six and then take away one more to get 19. All right, for these ones, it says to solve using your place value chart and place value disks, unbundle a 10 if needed. So if you have your place value chart and disks, you are more than welcome to use those. Um, if you forgot to bring those home, you can try to solve as many of these as possible in your head. And then the ones that you get stuck on, I would recommend just drawing a chart like this, just a regular place value chart for ones that you're stuck on. And I'll show you what I mean. So let's say I want to do 36 minus 7. I can start by showing 36, which would be 3 tenths and 6 ones. And it wants us to subtract 7 ones. Well, when you go to do that, you can't, there's not enough. So I need to unbundle one of your tens. And I know that if I unbundle this 10, 10 ones will come out of it. So the opposite of what we've been doing with addition, where we bundle these ones together to make the 10, we usually go this way, bundle these and make this. But now we're doing the opposite. We're unbundling a 10 and turning it back into 10 ones. So I no longer have that 10 because now I have 10 ones. I wanna take away seven. So I'm gonna take away five, six, seven. And I can see how many I have left over. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I go to my tens place and I've got two tens. So I know 36 minus seven is 29. And you don't need to do this for every single problem. Some of these you will be able to do in your head just fine. All right, second page says to solve and explain your strategy. So you can use any strategy you like, any subtraction strategy you like to answer these. You could draw a place value chart. You could do a number bond. You could do a tape diagram, any strategies that you want. So um, I will start with, I'll do a, um, a tape diagram. So if I wanna do 41 minus 27, first I check, can I do one one minus seven ones? No. So I'm going to do a tape diagram strategy. And remember, you don't have to use this strategy. This is just 
the one that I'm choosing to use. So I'm starting off with 41 and I want to subtract 27, but I can't. So if I want to turn 27 into a multiple of 10, I would need to add 3. Because if I have 27, I go 28, 29, 30. So I'm going to add 3 here, which means I'm also going to add 3 here. So now I've got a whole new equation. Originally, I had 41 minus 27, but now I have 41 plus 3. So if you're thinking, okay, what is 41 plus 3? Just count up. 42, 43, 44. So now I have 44, and I want to subtract 27 plus 3. So thinking 27, 28, 29, 30. And now I can subtract using like units. If I have four ones and I take away none of them, I still have four ones. And if I have four tens and I take away three of them, I have one ten. So that strategy works out well. But if you wanted to draw a place value chart, that is totally fine too. Either way would work. If you wanted to do a number bond, that would work too. You just find a strategy that you like and use it. Last section says, the number of marbles in each jar is marked on the front. Miss Clark took 37 marbles out of each jar. How many marbles are left in the jar? Complete the number sentence to find out. All right, so I know that Miss Clark takes out 37 marbles from each jar. So for each one of these, it's gonna be minus 37. So I'm just going to fill those in because it says that she takes out 37 each time. And it says the number of marbles in each jar is marked on the front. So it started with 45 and she took out 37. This one started with 52 and she took out 37. This one started with 48, and she took out 37. And this one started with 55, and she took out 37. Your job is to figure out how many marbles are left, and you can use any strategy you want to do it. And for some of these, looking at this one, um, you'll be able to do it mentally. All right, guys, hope this was helpful. See you tomorrow in class.